Yo, this your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another <clears throat> banger. But before we start the video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. Today, we about to get into that boy, Whack 100. Talking about the pot uh, smoke uh, unaliver, you get what I'm saying? The dude, Blockstar, you get what I'm saying? He's talking to Adam, saying that boy, Pot Smoke, got backdoor, man. Before we start the video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. But let's get right into this content. Let's not act like you know we don't cheer when our team wins fellas jesus when the squad come back from putting in the work we want to hear the details we like what yeah when i jumped out and i ran yeah that's right that's right okay you jump for joy while you jumping for joy somebody's crying but okay, what I really want to hear your opinion uh, on is the fact that one of Pop Smoke's homies, Ross Swish. They backdoor Pop. They set him up. No, they didn't. But New York set him up. That's a fact. If that interview told me anything, it was that, that conspiracy theory has no legs. But anyway. This Are you dude, slow in the head? Man, do you feel like Pop Smoke got set up? I don't feel like it. Hey, I'm a little sick. So if you see me, I'm sick. I'm not on that powder. <laughs> Let's get back into this content. The, the dude you're thinking of is Mike doing? D. Ross Swish was not anywhere near this situation when it went down in LA. Do you not get what the kid was doing? Oh, now you're talking about that. Bro, it's still people on trial. Oh, oh, now, okay. Of yeah. course he's going to say this wasn't this and this wasn't that. Them is special alleg circumstances. So you still believe it was a back door with no evidence? What's the evidence? What the points you in that direction? Four people with hoodies come in a spot with four or five people, and all they do is leave a motherfucker. In the shower, nobody else is touched, and the 911 call comes from New York. Okay. Remember, I got blamed first for it. Why would you have been? Corey that? King went live, well known blood. Corey King's the one went at the one who started the blood movement out there, uh -huh. so he's well, the name is Corey King, right? Went live. Hold on, ain't that snitching though? Like, you get what I'm saying? Whack 100, you know, if people didn't know. Oh, he started the bloods out in New York. Do you feel like that snitching man dropping in the comments? Let's get back into this content. Life. Crying. Whack, bitch ass nigga. I know you have something to do. You, Game, Snoop, Ice Cube, none of you niggas to come to New York. I'm in Germany on tour with Game. Uh -huh. We ain't even here. But I did tell Blueface. Now, let me tell you how close it came. Blueface and the baby shot a video that day. Nephew called me. He said, Whack. Uh. Pop Smoke in town, he want me to come to the studio. I said negative. He got too much going on. Pop Smoke had too much going on. Yeah. Even the, out here? Yeah, he was out here. He had street situations had going, going on out yeah. here. So I said, listen, he ordering bitches, the homie that supplied everybody females, right? Uh, they told me, whack nigga, to order like 10, 15 bras. Every one female out of towners. How do you order Every one female that you order. Uh -huh. And bring to your location, five niggas know about you. About you. Right. So if you, it's 10, 50 niggas know where you at. So you know that for a fact. That that's a fact. You had some setup chicks in there? No, listen, it, you know, that's what it is. I got women right now that they go places, we hear they turn the thing, this, 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 we see what it is, right? So I tell. I just got to stop it because Wack be doing a lot of talking and he always talking about snitching. But he do a lot of talking on the internet, like revealing a lot of stuff. Isn't that snitching? I want to know how you guys feel, man. Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into this content. Yo, Blueface, now nah, go home. He said he want me to come to his nephew. Go home, because I'm in Europe. Mm -hmm. I ain't there. Dude got a lot of on. Go to the house. So he listens to me. He wakes up 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. 6 in the morning. And say, yo, they killed him. And I don't around and being right there. Well, he was going to go to the studio, not the Airbnb, right? Bro, he had got to the studio. Some brawls would have come through. Hmm. Bro, we finna go up to the... What you think he gonna do? Just bang him in the studio. You don't need to go back to the nah, dude's crib. They gonna go back. And, and I told... The label contacted me when I was in Europe. I said, yo, don't put him in no Airbnb. Put him in a W hotel on the 18th floor. I think of this every time I stay anywhere. I told him. Airbnb is not a good direction no, no, bro, for me. Adam, Hollywood Hills is worse than the projects at night. Hmm. It's dark. You can't see. Right, no cops around. 
lot of shrubbery and bushes in between. You know what I'm saying? Come in there, had a way. Mm. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. But, like, y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop making it a big deal that dude was interviewed on, um, on No Jumper. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, somebody's going to interview him. At How y'all guys feel about the dude that underlied Pop Smoke going on No Jumper? You get what I'm saying? I don't feel like he should have had a platform, but you know, that's just my opinion. I want to know how you guys feel, man. Jump in the comments. Let's get back into the content. At the end of the day, you just interviewed Terrence Gangster Williams. He got 20 bodies mm -hmm. and nobody care and that is the biggest thing that this whole controversy has exposed to me is just how hypocritical and unthinking so many members of the media is in the sense that they they cover these rappers they know about these rappers but they don't actually listen to the music so they don't actually understand how bloodthirsty and crazy their street lives saying. are and then on top of that they're like completely incapable of dealing with the hypocrisy of the fact that people who kill random people get interviewed all the time and then this dude killed a famous rapper and everybody's heads explode when we have the I conversation about it. I heard you and you kept it even real with him. You said all that and the white boy, the white boy ended with something that you Negroes claim you are, claim you do. You told him, this ain't hip hop. I'm here to what? Feed the streets. You got a white boy talking about feeding the streets. <laughs> I'm just, I had this little punk. You seen the little punk? He was arguing. And that's the problem. I'm, people out here just boosting uh, Adam 22 head up to do crazy stuff. How you guys feel about that, man? Let's get back into the content. With, yes. He's on Clubhouse. His I, name is Relly. I, I renamed that, yeah. him AKA Relish. <laughs> now he's mad at me, little Relish. He's mad at me because I informed him last night. Right. Are you arguing me because of Pop Smoke? Or are you arguing me because you know that I know that your mama got good in the mouth skin? Wait, what? Good in the mouth skin? Relly, AKA Relish Moms, has good in the mouth skin. What the f does that mean? Think in about it. I don't, I don't even want In the mouth skin, his mom. The skin in her mouth. A good head? Uh, she got good. Okay. How do you know that? Every mom? Relish. Um, <laughs> she off a honey and eight over there off of Jamaica. Listen. They're, they're White 100 is, boy, he is something else. You know what I'm saying? Talking about that man, mama. How would you feel if this man was up there talking about your mama? You know what I'm saying? But let's get back into the content. I'm there saying, seems to be some confusion the out there. real back, though. She bends it over. This What's podcast that? exists to feed the fans, the there people who are actually Ooh. interested in this shit. By no means am I trying to please the corporate stooges that comprise the hip-hop media space. Hey, bro, we run a game over here. We run a game. We winning. Mm -hmm. We putting out more content than anybody. That's a fact. And at the end of the day, let's keep it real, Adam. They only know what you say mm. or what I say because of why you're tuning in mm -hmm. now at the end of the day I think you did what you supposed to do Thank and you. I think you gave a great interview right you did you gave a great interview I feel like that's kind of being ignored that interview itself is extremely good like extremely well you gave done a great interview revelatory shit yeah revelatory people want to judge it based on a 60 second TikTok. you got to check the whole thing out yeah, he did a great interview. And, 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 and at the end of the day, um, I think it's going to be more to come. because Is it one or two of them out? I think it's two of them out. Well, there's another one who was on FaceTime with that rally guy. The relish guy. Yes. The one who got his mama got the good in the mouth skin. Uh, I don't know anything about that. but yeah. uh, there, And then there's a couple more are locked up, too. I mean, you know what occurs to me, too, is that a lot of people are just watching the stop clock because this... So he going to interview all of them. That's crazy. This dude getting interviewed five years after Pop Smoke died is incredibly offensive to them. That's crazy. Do you remember there being a lot of controversy when Vlad and other people platform Keefe D? I don't. It wasn't because, a problem. Yeah, because it, it was hey, bro, 20 wait, years wait, later. 30 Pop years later. Pop Smoke is not Tupac. Okay. Pop Smoke is not Tupac. And Vlad, punk ass, <laughs> you punk you went over there and interviewed the dude who supposed to had some type of dealings with Tupac. Now, Vlad, I don't know what type of man you are and why you would even even help or even assist this. 
Bro, hold on. Whack 100 tried to get KVD out of jail. He's supposed to uh, unalive Tupac. Contradicting. Let's get back into it. KVD, but Vlad, you ain't shit. Wait a minute. And he gonna be right back on Vlad TV soon. Watch what I tell you. Why he just popping off. You just Fuck tried that. to bail him out. Huh? Exactly. You were just trying to bail him out. Uh, I ain't tried to do nothing. We got another hearing date because they violated the 14th Amendment rights. What is the 14th Amendment? Son of Sam Law says a convicted criminal cannot do business. Okay. He's not, He's convict not a convicted criminal. He gets criminal, charged. Right. We At the end of the day, man, I want to know how you guys feel, man, about him. First of all, going to try to get Keefe D out. Second of all, how you feel about Pot Smokes Unaliver? You get what I'm saying? Block Star. I want to know how you guys feel, man. Drop it in the comments. But until next time, I'm out. Back in there.